Hello and welcome. I hope that you are having a fantastic day. We have some amazing news. Now for years, we've been hearing that China is creating a central bank digital currency. Well, today they are giving away one and a half million dollars in that digital currency for their people to use and spend at retail stores all over different nine different cities in China. Nine different cities, the people in those cities have an opportunity to actually use some of that digital currency. Actually, $1.5 million is being given away to the residents of people in those nine cities. This is amazing news. Now, we're gonna talk about China's one and a half million dollar digital currency. But before we get into that, I want you to know that our channel is about ideas to help you take profits and avoid losses. Can we get 99 likes on this video? Hey, it really makes a huge difference. Help us out and smash that like button. It really makes a big difference. Now, I'm not a financial advisor, and this is not financial advice. This is my opinion. Cryptocurrency involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for every investor. So make a decision that's best for you and for your family. Take a look at the rest of this paragraph. I think it's vital information for anybody who's investing in cryptocurrency. But the truth is, this is important information no matter what you're investing in. So. I wanna talk a little bit, before we get into China, I'm gonna to talk to you just super briefly about investing in Bitcoin and what kind of returns people have experienced over the years. So if you took $1,000, put it into Bitcoin, and then three years later, what would you have? So from January 1, 2017 to December 31st, 2019, you would have had $7,206 from that initial $1,000 investment. Now you can go through the rest of this chart, look at the history of Bitcoin, but here's the amazing thing. You can pick any date between January 1st, 2011 and January 1st, 2017, and any one of those dates, 98% of the time, are gonna be profitable if you invested $1,000 and then held it for three years and then sold it exactly three years later, 98, catch that, 98% of the time, you would have made money. You would have come out ahead. You would have been profitable. That is significant. In fact, even this year, there has been a tremendous in increase uh, with people who have invested in Bitcoin. If you bought Bitcoin on January 1, 2020, the price was $7,174. And today is September 9th, 2020. The price is $11,009. That is a 53% growth year to date in 10 months. Imagine 53% in 10 months. Where else can you get your money and get 50% of it back as interest or as a profit in just Nine, well, really, it's nine months because this is the first day of the 10th month. So anyway, something to think about. That's for 2020 alone. So let's scroll. Let's zoom in on this a little bit. Too much. Okay, China's central bank major city to hand out one and a half million in digital yuan. Now this money is being handed out today as we speak. Um, in fact, let me go back to this one. And this should have been right here. And we'll scroll down a little bit. So this article, Shenzhen to hand out 10 million digital yuan in currency giveaway. And you can see here 
The major Chinese city of Shenzhen is launching a pilot program to promote the digital yuan with a public giveaway. So the digital yuan is the central bank digital currency that China has been working on for about two years. And in collaboration with the country's central bank, Shenzhen is planning to distribute a total of 10 million digital yuan, one and a half million US dollars to China's central bank digital currency. And that comes from local news agency, Sana Finance reports on October 9th. As reported, the giveaway pilot will be funded by Shenzhen's Lu District. The giveaway money will be reportedly distributed to 50,000 recipients through a lottery. Shenzhen residents can start applying online to participate in the giveaway on October 9th. So the giveaway sign up started today, but by tomorrow, the day after, they're going to actually, by the 12th, October 12th to October 18th is when they'll be able to actually spend those digital currencies. And during that time, they'll be able to spend the digital currencies that they've received. Now they have to spend it by October 18th or the digital currency is taken back into the central bank's vaults. And so people are incentivized to spend it right away and this is an amazing thing. It's a brilliant thing to do on their part because it gives them a real live test by people who are, are citizens, 50,000 different citizens throughout nine different cities within China. And so they're quite serious about releasing their digital currency. And it looks like China is going to be the first one to market with their digital currency. Now that's going to put pressure on all of the other countries around the world to do the same thing. And so different people have been worried about different things as far as uh, regulators, regulations, what's going to happen to cryptocurrency, are they going to create all these bad and, and whatever regulations. I tend to think that they probably won't because of this Chinese digital currency. They won't want to stifle it, they won't want to shut it down, they'll want to make sure that the U.S. comes out and gets ahead of the game. The U.S. is very invested in the U.S. dollar being the world's currency. And if the U.S. doesn't get on board with their own digital currency, China will leave them in the dust. And the U.S. knows that. The people in, in government are fully aware of what's going on. And so this puts a little bit of a fire under them to first create a U.S. digital currency and then also to be involved in uh, creating better and more robust digital reg uh, regulations regarding digital currencies. And so all of that is going to eventually, I believe it's, it's a very, very bullish sign. I believe it's good news. I believe we're on the verge of seeing massive, uh, massive mass adoption throughout the entire world of digital currency because no one country wants to be left out of this technical innovation that's sweeping the globe. So that's my video for today. And my question for you is, how can I be of service to you? Do you have any questions or comments? Leave them in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. Even if you disagree with me, I'd love to hear your polite disagreements and we'll have a digital conversation uh, through, through the website that you're viewing this on. In the meantime, I hope that you'll do me a favor and like, subscribe, and a hodl, and I hope that you have a fantastic day.